Hello everyone, it's Stooms, and welcome back to COD Zombies. Today, we are going to be talking about one of my personal favorite maps, Zetsubu no Shima. You heard me correctly, I absolutely love this map, and I genuinely do not know why this map gets so much hate. So we're going to do a deep dive into all the details about the map, and reasons why I think it should be rated much higher on the COD Zombies tier lists over around the globe, or whoever has a tier list, you know? It's always rated low. Bruh. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the overall atmosphere of the map. I think it's spectacular. Think Shangri-La, but more spooky, more creepy ambiance, you know? Shangri-La is always highly esteemed for how beautiful it is, how jungly it looks, and uh, just like how it's designed, you know? And I think Zetsubu no Shima is a similar format with like a swampy jungle, but it's a little bit creepier, it's a little bit darker, I feel like the colors are more contrasting with like different colors of the water. Also just the whole mist experience with like spiders spawning and the fact that the thrasher is like a really creepy looking ghoul ghoulish like tree zombie and especially dealing with swimming zombies and like going underwater and seeing them come at you and then the skulls and just like everything about this map is just like spooky and I love it. It's so cool. Like when I first dove into the map, that one video you saw me play Zetsubu no Shima for the first time and I was genuinely horrified. When I first saw that thrasher, I was like genuinely th freaked out. I don't always have the most expressions with my emotions, but I'm telling you, deep down I was scared. So many people not only hate it, but also forget about it. Nobody talks about Zetsubu no Shima. They always talk about how Dara Eisendrake is the better version of Origins, and it's so great. They also talk about how Garad Kovi, Krovi, sorry, for those who are veterans, say it's even better than Dara Eisendrake. And then Revelations, they say it's the easiest, but maybe one of the like funnest and most playable Easter eggs. But Satsubu no Shima? No, nobody has anything to say about it. Like, what the heck? But let's talk about the Easter egg. I think the Easter egg is something really special. I feel like Satsubu no Shima, for some reason, gets a lot of flack for its Easter egg. And I think it's just so innovative, you know? The plant system, a lot of people find it tedious, you know? And I will say the one thing I agree with is the getting the bullet for the Gatlin gun to take down the plane at the end of the Easter egg. Yes, that is pretty flawed, but it's pretty foolproof. If you have the mass immune, no, 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 don't die. Don't, don't run into that. No! I need to kill spiders with these things. It's so refreshing to bring life instead of death. This way. This way, you idiot. Oh my are you kidding me? Uh you have three seeds? and you have, and you water each seed every round, three rounds in a row, like, one of the plants, yeah, you're not gonna get it, but one of them's gonna have it. You, you water three or four plants at a time, and they all grow, and you grab whatever's inside of them at the same time, one of them's gonna have the bullet, like, nine times out of ten. Every once in a while, I'll play, I'll use three seeds, and it won't work. Well, then you just gotta do the process again, and it's not a big deal, because you have the Wonder Waffle. It's very good. Just use it to kill all the zombies. It's easy. Whatever, you know? It's a minor setback, and it is a setback that isn't entirely necessary, because that is really obnoxious. Sorry, I'm not talking bad about this map. I'm just doing, I always like to do the counterpoint. I tend to like what everyone hates, so I like to cover what's hated first, and then contradict it. You know, that's kind of how I structure these videos. Anyway, the second thing I agree with disliking is the gobble gum, having to use a gobble gum for the Easter egg. And the reason is not the same as everyone else. I don't think it's a problem because it takes away one of my special mega gobble gums. You know me, I'm not a huge fan of mega gobble gums. Oh my gosh, that was the they weirdest glitch. The reason why is because they shouldn't make you use gobble gums at all in any map, in my opinion. They should design each map to not need gobble gums at all 
if you don't want to use them. That's just, that's just me. And then overall, the story behind the Easter egg, oh, beautiful. Chef's kiss right there. It's just super cool seeing Takio go through his journey and like realizing that the Emperor betrayed him, all that kind of stuff. The whole idea that we have to go out down and save old Takio and he happens to be one of those giant trees as well. Like, it's just insane, bro. And then the process. I really like the plant system. I really, really do. A couple of the challenges are really annoying, but all you have to do is like go check out the challenge and then restart your game if you hate the challenge. I don't really care about that. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then the skull system. That's really cool. I really like that. But the skull of Nyan Tiamwei. That is such a cool addition, not found in any other zombies map where you can literally just freeze zombies and like just obliterate everything on a maximum number of rounds, whatever round you're on. Like that's so goaded, that's so OP. And then the power system, you know, which kind of has to do with the Easter egg. I don't think it's a huge deal. I can see how if you're starting the map for the first time and you're figuring out how to do it, it would be kind of tedious, you know, like, oh, I have to go through and do all this stuff, and then I have to, like, swim with a bunch of zombies for a certain amount of time, and then finally get the power, and at this point, it's already round 10 or whatever, like, okay, like, sure, but, like, I don't think having to get the power is any less bad than zombie maps that you love, like Origins, like, you have to go around and kill a bunch of fast Templar zombies at, for a certain period of time around a tight little space and you have to do that six times and then finally the power's on oh and then Templar zombies return on round nine and destroy them and you have to redo them like that's annoying why is that not annoying you know if you're saying you hate Zasubunoshima because of the process of doing that kind of stuff then you should hate Origins as well and maybe you do maybe, maybe you do hey I encourage you not to be a hater though give these maps a chance Challenge yourself, challenge yourself. I'm always telling my zombies homies to challenge themselves because that makes zombies fun. Don't just sit there and get to high rounds and say you're cool, okay? That's not fun, we don't like that. Wait, I, I don't like that here on this channel, personally. But anyway, you have to kill a giant spider? I mean, come on, dude, that is so OP. Gee, you're so angry. Like, that's so cool. I love that aspect of the map, you know? And then you get a free Widow's Wine afterwards. It rewards you, it's a good reward. Um, and if you're doing the Easter egg, then it also gives you one of the parts you need. Little pro tip, if you get the uh, the rocket launcher gun from a ghetto plant, it actually like one shots the spider. Like it only takes three shots of that to the spider and it's down. Just, just a little secret between you and me. It sucks in every other aspect, but if you save that weapon for the big shelob, takes her down fast. I already touched on the plant system, but I think just the amount of things you can do with the plant system is just so cool. You can get special perks, special weapons if you want from the plants. You can make a plant that holds a zombie for you. You can make a copy of yourself and like save yourself if you down and then respawn in the plant. Dude, that's so goaded, dude. That's so cool. Like, what the heck? It just takes a little bit of time through the rounds and having to run back and forth to get water, but like, that's such a cool aspect of the game. Let's talk about the other things that people hate. Let's talk about the Thrasher, okay? Thrasher, yes, the issues with it are why are there multiples of them? Why are there so many of them when it's not the boss round? Um, also, why don't they reward you with anything? Yeah, that's, that's about it, you know? I think it's a cool addition to the game. The Origins has the Panzer, which is probably a cooler boss to deal with. Um, but I don't think the Thrasher is that bad, you know? He can one-shot you, but only if you get hit by something else at the same time. So you just gotta be careful, you gotta keep running, you know? It, I don't think it makes the game unplayable to deal with Thrashers. I think for new players, at the beginning when you're dealing with them, yeah, that's, that's tough. You just gotta you know, hopefully survive with them chasing you. But thematically, it's perfect. Like, it fits in with the map so well. It makes the map more scary, seeing these giant tree zombies coming at you. It fits in with what old Tokyo turned into, you know, in the boss section of the map. And it's, it's just really cool. It's really, it's still really innovative to me, even with its flaws. Let's talk about spiders. I... I think I appreciate spiders a little bit more than thrashers, honestly. From what I've seen, their health stays the same. So yes, they might be annoying, but like, 
if you can take them out that easily, I don't think they need to be that big of a problem in order for people to quit the game and hate it, you know? Occasionally it is annoying, like the hitbox for them is weird, like I've definitely knifed right on them and I miss. That happens fairly more frequently than I would like, and so I agree that's kind of retarded. And they're really fast, you know? But, like, for the most part, they're not that bad. And I think the addition to them, again, thematically is perfect. The way they bring them in with the fogginess and the, like, the purple ambiance when it's there around is so cool. So cool. And the music, and the fact that you can literally turn into a spider. I've never done this personally, but, like, dang, that's so cool. Uh, another plant thing, another thing with the plants. Love the plants. But, yeah, spiders... It's the same situation, if there's a ton of them, all you have to do is keep a safe distance and you should be fine. They don't do a lot of damage, they do almost the same amount of damage as uh, Hellhounds probably, I'm guessing. Yeah, I don't think, you know, that's not a big problem for me. I think it adds to the dynamicness of this map and just makes it more interesting, makes it more unique. You know, in these later Zombies rounds they can be overstimulating, you know? Uh, so for those of you that like the classic style of just surviving and it's just zombies, yeah. But I think spiders and thrashers are better than, like, ghouls, you know? Like, I'm not the biggest fan of the ghouls, and they're so random, I feel like. With this, it's meant to be there. Like, you can tell, like, okay, there's spiders everywhere and there's these creepy swamp monsters. Like, it makes sense. It perfectly makes sense inside the map. It's partly what I like about them, you know? And I don't know if there's too much else to say. Uh, people were saying that it was a very glitchy map. I haven't ha experienced that, probably because I've played it so late, you know? It's a, what, eight, six, six to eight year old game. You know, it doesn't have those glitches anymore. Um, I, I understand that it got so much hate when it first came out, and that's, that's the dumbest thing to me, you know? Everyone hopped on this bandwagon of hating the map because it was spoiled for them from pros and then pros were saying what they didn't like about the map and experiencing those early game glitches. Like, that's not a fair assessment of this map. That's not a reason to forget about it. It is super cool. And yeah, I'm kind of running out of time here. I am wearing my work shirt right now because uh, I have to go to work in like a few minutes and in fact I might be late uh, which is okay because I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll make it in time it's not a huge deal but <laughs> I am so responsible but yeah uh, I just wanted to say I want to give this a rating of the second greatest map uh, it is just below Origins for me this is my second favorite map Origins my favorite Zetsubu my second favorite and then Mob of the Dead is like third for me so far. And out of like just how good, yeah, I would rate this a 10 out of 10, you know, along with Origins. It's completely different from Origins. And that is not a reason to dislike it, okay? <laughs> Even though Origins was so beloved, you know? I just made this video to share my defense of Zetsubu no Shima. And before I go, I want to show you guys me completing the Easter egg. And I'm sorry, I think I lost the footage of my of my camera, my face, so I apologize about that. There was meant to be a camera, but I misplaced the footage. Let me show that to you guys, and I'll be right back with you. Hey, what's up, guys? It's me. I haven't been showing my face this whole time. I just thought I'd pop it out for the end here, because I have never shown you guys complete me completing the easter egg and i personally have never seen the cutscene myself from my own um completion of the easter egg because i've always you know uh gone out of the game to avoid you know uh losing my gobble gums so this is a first Takeo, no. all right this is not that bad this part like, you just get a bunch of thrashers, they start chasing you, it's no big, you can just run around. You don't have to kill anything, especially if you get an end of a round like I'm doing. Oh, hello. Oh, you're so angry. The only thing I would do is kill spiders. Because those are the only things that are annoying. But the thrashers, bro? I don't care. I'm good. I'm chilling. See, there's two thrashers. They're chilling. Oh, you're so upset, Takio. Oh, so sad. Oh, I just encountered him. That was close. That guy really came out of nowhere. 
attack you. Stop trying to hit me. So yeah, I'm gonna just keep running in circles. This is the easiest strat. Easiest strat ever. Look back this way before you go on the stairs to see that none of the thrashers are gonna corner you and you're good. I only missed that one time where I got hit by one and now we're good. I kinda missed it that time. Okay, see, they're still far behind me. What the, where are they going? Breaking my stride, you fools. Oh! Come on, hit it! Oh my gosh. Could not hit him for the life of me. Aw, oh, he's so upset. There's a lot of spiders here. Look at all those thrashers, bro. Ah! That's scary. Oh, gosh. I always close the game before this part. Before the ending. There are so many thrashers and spiders, dude. I am scared. Scared, but surviving. 100%. Oh my gosh, they're right on my tail. That was scary. Oh my gosh. They're all dead! I did it! Let's go! Okay, I've never seen this. Sorry, I'm going to turn it up so if you see, hear some feet in the back. I recognize them. Almost as though they were my own. I share this memory. I have lived many of the same victories. I later learned that my victories were unwelcome. What? I understand what must be done. No, Takio, no! You will be my Kaishakunin. It is my honor. No, it's sad. Gosh dang. Ooh. I forgot you see the orb in this cutscene. I knew, kind of knew about that. But I didn't know this part. What is this? The soul of Takio. Yes, it's you next, then why? I know. There is something else we must know. There is a chain of events that must be set in motion. Ooh. The teleporter in Origins. Call it our insurance policy. In case we don't like where we end up. Wait. Wait, the map keeps going? Me confused. Wait, I can save my gobbles still? Aw, oh, dude. That's awesome. And I even got back all my... perks. Wait, that's weird. Do I just keep playing as if that never happened? Doesn't end the... This is weird, dude. What am I doing? Do I have somewhere to go or something? I'm, I'm just gonna see. Dude, that's so weird. I never knew that the Black Ops 3 maps just kept going. It's kind of, it kind of removes the sense of finality that I want to have right now. It's kind of lame. But hey, I get to keep my uh, gobbles. That's pretty awesome. That's probably why they didn't allow you. Could have pretend I'm going back. I'm going back out to sea, guys. Bye. So yeah, that's Zetsubu no Shima, dude. 10 out of 10, second favorite map of all time for me. You should give it a try if you haven't. Don't listen to the haters. It's a great map, great experience. Just play it for yourself, form your own opinion. There will still be haters of every map. Some people hate Origins, but I just think Zetsubu no Shima deserves way more of a chance. Come on now, it's such a good map, I love it. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're having a wonderful day. 
and I hope to see you all in the next video. Uh, stay tuned for more review videos like this. I don't have many of them on the channel so far, but um, I'm planning on making a lot more of them, especially with my zombies content, and I'm so excited. Catch y'all later. Bye-bye.